Hi guys, I just finished printing the face mask that I designed and I wanted to share the results with you. You can see that this is a nice compact face mask, it covers your nose and mouth and at the bottom it has these two openings where you can connect your air filters. I uh, wanted to, to have the air filters on the sides because I felt it gives better protection when, for example, someone sneezes at you, having uh, the... the uh, air filter in front will easily get it contaminated. Uh, the air filters mounted on the sides will, will give you some additional protection and I also opted for two openings just to make sure that you get enough air because uh, this mask will hermetically uh, attach to your face. I'm going to show you how. So all the air will go through, through the filters and just think of uh, what happens when you do some effort you'll quickly run out of air and uh, the last thing I uh, want is uh, for you to take this mask down because you don't have enough air. So for, for the air filters another requirement was to, to find something that is available, affordable and something that is easy to exchange. So what I did was to end up with cosmetic cotton pads. These are some uh, regular cotton discs, but uh, one thing I like about them is that they have two layers of pressed cotton and a lot of cotton in between. So this gives a lot of protection for the tiny particulate uh, matter and will stop it from getting to your lungs. So the air filter container is a, a round shape you can install one filter or even two. I left enough space for, for two and uh, it's your decision which configuration is better. And the top cover will just go in place like that and stay there. And when you want to exchange your filter, you just press it from the inside with one finger, take out the the, the cosmetic cotton pad and just replace it with a new one. So let me quickly assemble the mask. I'm going to take a second cotton pad, put it in its container. The same for the first one. You can see this is so easy to do. And the best thing is that anyone can build one if they have a 3D printer and the filters are also so easy to procure. Just connect the filters to the tubes on the mask and voila, the mask is ready and it looks great. Another thing that we can do here, let me just dismantle one of these, is to, to use a soldering iron and melt some of the plastic so the two parts will be glued together. Let me show you how to do this. I just uh, set my my soldering iron on 300 degrees because uh, this plastic is uh, PLA and uh, melting it a little will just uh, join the two parts enough so uh, the filter won't fall off. Now that these two are stuck together when you want to exchange your filter, you would press it you would press it from the inside like this. So no need to, to take out the container anymore. It still is very easy to exchange your filters. Okay, so next thing to do is to to solve two problems. First, this is a very hard plastic. When you would wear something like this on your face, uh, it would quickly become very uncomfortable. So uh, my idea was to, to use some self-adhesive sponge like this. This is also very cheap and easy to procure. And uh, what this thing does is to give you more comfort when you wear the mask, but it will also allow the mask to hermetically close on your face and this is very important because you want to filter out the 
the bad things in the air and uh, get some clean air uh, and, and make sure that only the clean air will get to your lungs. So start from, from the top part where your nose is because you want to, to have a continuous band here. Uh, in my experience, I found that this part can uh, can be the most um, mm, inconvenient. It it uh, th this part can create the most discomfort. So start from there with the sponge band. Carefully follow the perimeter. It's really easy to to install it. Yeah, let me do this like that. Okay, for the second side and just make sure you follow it nicely so it will look good okay so now you can see that we solved both requirements one was to to make this more comfortable when wearing and the other was to find a way to to make the mask uh, close hermetically to your face last thing you need to do is to connect the rubber bands and you're good to go again this is a, a very good design that you can build at home you only need a 3d printer uh, some cosmetic cotton pads you would need uh, uh, plenty of them so you can exchange them when uh, when dirty and uh, this rubber band which is also very cheap and easy to procure and uh, keep in mind that such a mask can be put into alcohol for cleaning or even uh, even other cleaning solutions that you can have at, at home well, one thing you cannot do is to boil it because uh, then you would uh, deform the plastic and uh, that is something that you don't want to do if you build one of these Please, please send me some pictures with uh, your results and also feel free to post any suggestions on how to make this thing better. Nowadays face, face masks are a hot topic so I wanted to, to come up with a solution which is convenient. There are plenty of good designs out there. One thing that I, uh, I, um, I managed to, to add is this uh, sponge band which is really nice in making the mask more comfortable and also very importantly it seals the mask to your face and all the air goes through the filters. So good luck building your own and let me know if you have any suggestions for, for improvements. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.